Hi guys, early uh, Saturday morning, just got back from Games Workshop where I have picked up my copy of Dark Vengeance, the limited edition one. I'm a very excited man, because uh, Chaos and Dark Angels, and I thought, you know what, let's open it with you guys here. So, let's break it open. So I've already opened it up, I had a quick look, couldn't restrain myself, so let me talk you through what you've got. So it is a starter set, so it's aimed at Games Workshop's uh, you know, starter clientele, um, be that younger customers or whatever. Um, so they've got the Dark Vengeance How to Play book. And the idea is that it talks you through, if I can, so playing some games. I think it's got like, almost like some kind of battle report in here, which talks you through like the different to stages like movement phases of a game stuff like that you have to excuse me so it's a bit of a weird angle so talking about assault phases and wound allocation so i haven't played many games of sixth edition yet so this might be quite handy even though it's meant aimed at beginners just to kind of you know sort of clean the rust off uh we've got it's, it's really nice actually really high quality fully color full color pictures uh we've got the Ah, like the Hellbrute stats, which look very dread naughty. Uh, and we've got a vehicle damage chart as well, just for the sort of getting the hang of that, because that has changed in 6th edition. And then we've got some extra rules that you can look at. So they've talked about chucking grenades and uh, going to ground. Uh, and then we go into the kind of background section, because we don't have the big uh, £45 rulebook in here. So now we've got... Uh, the background or some of the background that would be in the big rule book in this section because they did that in Assault and Black Reach. Uh, so yeah, that's some really cool stuff. I've not seen a painting guide yet, which they had in the how to, uh, in the uh, first uh, in the Assault and Black Reach. Ah, but interesting, what they have done, they've actually given you how many five missions, which are unique to the box. So um, I think the first one, which they actually they played through them in White Dwarf. So uh, you've got uh, the first one, which is Rampage. If I can, sorry, I'm using a weird camera angle. There we go. Uh, which talks about like their first game, you know, chaos, almost be chaos in this case. And then um, the Raven Wing versus Cultists and stuff like that. So, and then some finished examples. I'll try and get some light on this. There we go. Come on, lamp. That's a little bit better. Hopefully you can... No, it's really not wanting to play. Come on. Awesome. So, yeah, we've got so some really nice examples of the finished models, which I've got to say, guys, I am absolutely loving. Um, again, I'll, I'll dig those out in a second, but they are very detailed, as you can see on the pictures on here. So, as it's the limited edition uh, box, we've also got uh, the uh, Chaplin. Um, who is known as Chaplin Sereficus. Uh, again, a really nice plastic model. Uh, he's got a stat line. He's an interrogated Chaplin. No points cost, though. Um, so I think in normal games, you just use him as a standard interrogated Chaplin. Um, he, the, 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 normally, there's like a little bit of information here about special characters. This interrogated Chaplin Sereficus, I think, is just a standard... Um, interrogate a chaplain. However, he got he's got a special rule uh, which is very specific to him, which is really handy. So that's cool, uh, and it also covers the weapons he's got. So Crozius Arcanium is now plus two strength and AP four. So chaplains become strength six, and against anything that's not in power armor, proper nasty. Cool. So we've got all of those. Uh, we've got now. I noticed this before. Now, this one actually has a construction booklet. Um, in the Assault and Black Reach, you didn't have an actual uh, set of instructions to build the models, as far as I remember. So, these ones, you've actually got numbered models. So, they've actually gone so far as to actually number the parts, which I think is really handy. It allows you to just make sure you're not making any mistakes on it. Obviously, there's a fair... There's... Is it 49? Yeah, 49 models to, to do. Yeah. Ten marines, five terminators, three open ring, three characters, twenty courtists. Yeah, yeah, forty nine. Forty nine. I may be wrong, but you know, <laughs> check maths later. So 
all the Raven Wing stuff in there, and the models themselves look really. I mean, it's so strange to do uh, to 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 picture. I mean, I noticed this is one of my foremost ones. This is the Chaos part. So you've got a standard Chaos body and a backpack, but what they've done is they've incorporated the shoulder pad edging, the helmet, and the other shoulder pad edging, edging and the arm, the other arm, all into one piece. So it's such a bizarrely fit model, but they, just the detail they've gone into is astonishing. And again, I'll, I'll dig those out in a second. So, And there's, of course, the big beastie that uh, I know I'm looking forward to having a look at. So that's your um, in, your, your construction instructions. Ah, then we've got, um, I missed this, this is a quick reference sheet. So this is going to be proper handy for you guys who are, again, just getting used to the rules. It's got, it's double-sided, so we've got... Um, to hit chart, to wound chart, ballistic skill charts, special movement, so running and turbo boosting, weapon types, cover chart, uh, vehicle damage chart, advanced weapon. Ah, oh, that's really cool. So you've got concussive, rules for concussive, armor bane, gets hot, specialist weapons. You've got the movement chart as well, so uh, for getting used to that. And deep strike mishap chart as well. So that's really handy. Also... That's changed the deep strike mishap chart. I didn't know that. Only on a one is the unit destroyed. I thought it was a one to two from the fifth edition, but I could be wrong on that one. So, a quick reference sheet. Aha! The tiny rule book. Now this is proper tiny compared to the uh, the the meaty sixth ed rule book that's come out, but still the same quality, all in full colour, still with some full colour pictures and an artwork in there too, so they've not scrimped on this, guys. They've they've really done some really nice work on this, um, and yeah, I mean, it, there's still full color examples uh, of, uh, of the rules, like cover, and I mean, obviously you can see as much. Oh wow, and they still got the artwork. I love this artwork personally because it just shows all the all the weapons uh, from. Uh, from different races, so you see how big a four staff is, what a power claw looks like. That's just really cool. Yeah, and the same with the artillery. Something that's in really interesting to me is macro cannons. They actually have some stats for those in the rule book, uh, in the big meaty one I saw before. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what a macro cannon uh, is going to be attached to. And we've also got the flak missiles as well, which are going to be anti aircraft missiles. So I've not seen any in the codexes yet, but. It's going to be really cool to see in later codexes whenever they come out. So, yeah, not really nice 6th edition book ready to go. So, we've got one more thing in here that I can see, which is... Oh, it's another quick reference chart. Cool, so there's actually one per player and... Ah, it opens up. So, it's like a miniature codex. So, you've got... Names for all the characters, so uh, and what they're equipped with, so and any special rules they've covered kind of in the sections here, like a in, an Iron Halo gives a four plus invulnerable save. You know you've got the the, the weapon stats. Auto guns are in, awesome. Auto guns have got their own stat line. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm liking the look at this a lot. And then, yes, and all the names have got, uh, all the squads have got names. They've really gone into the kind of storyline of this, guys. This looks really cool. My personal favourite is they've called the Hellbrute Mortis Metallicus. So essentially dead metal, <laughs> which I quite like. So, um, yeah, that's really nice. What's interesting is that it's not a Dreadnought. They specifically stated, because normally a Dreadnought has a Dreadnought close combat weapon, this has a power fist. So... It still strikes an initiative one, from what I can tell. But it's still got the same sort of front side and rear armour as a Dreadnought. So, very interesting. I wonder if, if, if they're going to do a Chaos Codex. I wonder if that's going to be a new a new thing. Um, cultists look very similar to Guardsmen. Uh, except in... Yeah, I think... Yeah, pretty much. Uh, except a slightly worse armor safe, but then again, they're cultists, they're a meat shield, that's what they're there for. So, I'm going to tease you a little bit longer, so we've got our templates, always good, large blast, small blast, flamer template. 
Measuring sticks for those who don't have any tape measures. I'm, I've got a few, but you know, never a bad thing having them. Bases, and then we come to the models, guys, which is my favourite bit, and I've been, uh, I've been really looking forward to, to, to having a closer look at these. So these are what they look like. I'm going to bring them in a little bit closer. So we've got things like the Chaos Space Marines. I'll tell you what, I'm going to zoom in for this bit. Be all technical. See if it'll focus. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's not liking this at all. That's a shame. Come on. I really want I really want this to focus. Oh, never mind, I'll zoom out again. Okay, so these models are um incredibly high detail. Uh, you've got Dark Angels, so the Dark Angels are still one or two piece, which is similar to that of the uh, of the Assault and Black Reach, but they're all different stances now, so you've got a Beaky Marine, you've got a couple of different marks of armour from what I can tell, uh, and each Marine has his own specific parts rather than just any parts fit all of them really. Uh, they've got the Dark Angel symbol on the left shoulder pad, nice and crisp, you've got a tactical the uh, inverted tactical, so rather than going straight up with the arrow, it's an across double-headed arrow. We've got our cultists as well. Uh, there we go. So the heavy weapons guys both have this kind of weird apron kind of thing, almost like a sort of Jason. There we go. Get into camera shot. A uh, Jason X style kind of butchers. Uh, Butcher's uh, apron, so that's pretty nice. And we've got a Ravenwing biker here. This is one of the Deathwing Terminators. Now, from what I can see, guys, I say I had a little previous look. Now, I did buy the 2009, was it, Space Hulk? And I've got to be honest, guys, these are built and look to that sort of quality. They are absolutely astonishing. Uh, there we go, that's... Do you remember that weird chaos bit I was talking about? There it is. So you've got the gun, shoulder pad, head, shoulder pad. Very strange, but looks really cool. And I mean, if they go together, you know, from what we've seen on the website and White Dwarf, then they're going to be astonishing. Uh, let's have a look. I've got to say, I had a look at the ones that Games Workshop had done, and in the flesh, they are really nice, guys, as, as I'm finding out uh, with you now, really. Um, awesome, here's the, 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 the special limited edition Chaplin, so it comes on a singular frame, we've got a really nice embossed, oh, I wish it would focus a bit better, so a really nice embossed cloak here with the Dark Angel sign on folded material as well, that's really nice, got a stand specifically for him, got the front of him here, we've got the Crozius Arcanium, the Plasma Pistol, this really nice skull helmet here as well, which hopefully I can bring in a little bit closer. That's really not... My camera does not want to play today. I think it's overwhelmed, just like I am with this box. <laughs> so, um, that's that's the Chaplin. Next sprue. Um, I think this one's almost a carbon copy, almost, of the other sprue that we just looked at. So we've got... Chaos Space Marine on there. Let's get a little bit more light over here if we can. So Chaos Space Marines, we've got loads of cultists uh, on this section round here. We've got another Terminator. I think this is this is the one with the Storm Bolter. I think, as I said, on, uh, same as the other one. And this, uh, it, there's two of these guys in there. They're quite nice. And then I just like the details on the cultists are really cool. So we've got this this guy here with the hood, that kind of gas mask there as well. That's really nice. Um, let's have a look. Cool. Let's move on to the next frame. I get the box to stay put. That would be brilliant because everything's falling over at the moment. There we go. Then we've got. The ah the assault cannon here, so that's this guy here. 
I'm trying to do this as an inverted camera angle, guys. You do have to. I do. I do apologise. God, it won't focus, will it? There we go. So we've got the the really nice assault cannon Terminator. Uh, oh, we've got the librarian as well next to him. Camera shot. Come on. There we go. We've got the librarian as well. That really nicely posed model. You know, stretching out his arm and zapping people with mind bullets. We've got what looks like the Dark Angels character in there as well. Ah, plasma Cannon. That's really interesting. That's the first time I've seen a Tactical Squad with a Plasma Cannon. Uh, otherwise, you have to get it from Devastator Squad, which is really cool. Let's have a look. Oh, actually, on a note, guys, I, I know some of you might be wanting to know this. Looking at the Space Marines, going back one, they are not too difficult to turn into standard marines so if you've got a knife and a bit of patience you can take off the dark angel symbol and they're ready to rock and roll as normal space marines so that's not too shabby my you know that that was my my only thought that it was a dark angels set but then again with the salt and black reach it was orcs and orcs are orcs really but the but the space marines are very generic and this one the space marines are more specific but the Chaos Space Marines are no, there's no Legion specific stuff on there, so you can pretty much do them as they want. And I know these guys are going to end up in my Black Legion. So, more Raven Wing here as well. The uh, the bikers. We've got our Captain's Feathered Helmet. <laughs> and, ah, nice, the Terminator Sergeant Leader. I do like these swords they're putting in, these really kind of thick. Old style broadswords. We got one here, and there's another enormous one just here. That's really cool. So we got those, um, and these are just with the bikers, guys. These are Raven Wing bikers. So they've got the Raven Wing symbol on the the actual uh, wheel housing, and you've got Dark Angel specific symbols like on the guns and stuff like that. Cool. Okay, so move on to the final frame. Now this looks pretty much all chaos to me here. So let's have a quick look. Again, if I can stop this falling over, that'd be brilliant. So we've got the yeah, this is all the chaos. We've got the chosen. Oh man, focus. Ah. So we've got the lightning claw guy here. That's really nice to see a chaos space with a pair of lightning claws. We've got the guy with the power axe. That's a meaty power axe right there. That might need to be a world eater right there. That's really nice. Now, the, the one that's really got me quite excited for, for just a, a daft reason is actually the chosen um, chosen champion because what he's wielding here is a, is a power mace, but it looks perfect for a cursed Crozius, for a word bearer, dark apostle. So I think if I'm going to start my word bearers, this is going to be the guy to start my, my word bearers on because he looks awesome uh, we've got the claws for the lightning claw here again notice the really weird design for it so you've got the two backs of the hands with the claws on and then the slot for the backpack there we go there again guys you'll have to excuse if I keep getting this off camera I'm just doing this from the side to get it all in so my apologies there it's one of my favorite cultists just here the guy in the in the great coat now, from what I could read a little bit in White Dwarf, this is a, a, a commissar who went mad, turned traitor, turned off all the orbital defences, but was stitched into his great coat for his betrayal. So his great coat is actually still on him, which looks really cool. I really like that. We've got. Tell, tell you what, guys, check out the backpacks on these. The Chaos Space Marine jump, uh, power packs are brilliant. This beautiful tail and skull motif. Wow, that's really cool. We've got is that the Chaos Lord? Have I missed the Chaos Lord entirely? No, that's the that's the um, uh, that is the the back to the Dark Apostle wannabe. I think I've missed the Chaos Lord entirely, guys. Where's he got to? Uh, I do not know, but I'm sure he's on here somewhere. I may. Oh no, there he is. I can see his cloak. I've just spotted him. He's on the frame I'm holding. Blind. Never mind. So we've got really nice cloak again with some really nice embossing. If you can see that. 
the eight pointed star. Uh, let's see where the front of him is. And I can see his broadsword, this massive chaos rune sword here. That's enormous. That's, that's a real winner then. It's got beautiful kind of demonic faces etched into it. That's really cool. Now, the, the one I'm skirting around, guys, uh, because I, I imagine a lot of you want to see it, is the Hell Brute. So you spot, probably spotted a few mod, parts of the model. So this is it here. If you compare it to a Marine, I mean, let's grab a, a Corn Berserker quickly. That's, that's an, uh, and compare it. Oh, that's camera. There we go. That is pretty enormous. So it's dreadnought size, certainly. Very dynamic. We've got there's the back plate for it with the kind of spine coming down the back. Uh, we've got the fist, which is a power fist, remember, not a dreadnought close combat weapon. And the eight pointed star just here. And we've got the multi melter on the back here. So, I mean, that's the set, guys. I'm really impressed with this. It cost me £65. Um, so that is, it's going to be retailing from what I understand at 61.50 after all the limited edition ones have gone. So I have no idea how many of those are. But um, once the uh, once all the uh, limited edition ones are gone, it's three pounds fifty for what is essentially a beautiful chaplain model, which you're not, from what I understand, you're not going to get anywhere else. But saying that, is a plastic model on a small plastic frame. I know Games Workshop have been doing. Um, uh, fantasy models um, in their own little plastic sets so hopefully who knows you might be seeing some more Warhammer 40,000 characters that would be absolutely awesome GW please do that that would be amazing so um, I'm really happy with this guys uh, I think I'm gonna be uh, trading out the Dark Angels with my friends um, get myself some more chaos goodies um, I reckon the cultists are gonna go into a budding word bearer uh, force uh, the Chosen are going to go as aspiring champions and parts of uh, um, like assault units and stuff that I'm going to make. The sixth head rulebook is brilliant. This size means I don't have to break my back lugging it everywhere. And I'm probably going to keep the chaplain and might even paint them up. I might even do them as a prize at some point for a competition on my channel. <sighs> so that is Dark Vengeance, guys. Uh, I'm going to probably go back to bed now because I got up far too early to go and get this <laughs> at a weekend. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're thinking about going for it, do it. <laughs> it's awesome. And, um, yeah, I will speak to you uh, later with hopefully some more videos coming to you from this. Cheers for watching. Cheers for subscribing. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.